What's up boys, in today's video, fellow YouTuber Claude CS and I rated every single M4A4 skin in CS2. We're planning on doing one of these for every weapon in the game, so leave a comment with what weapon you'd like to see us do next. Also, we recently did a similar video for the AK-47, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Let's get into the video. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade for example, currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay is the only marketplace with no buying or selling fees and you can even sell your skins on a trade line. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Also, I'm giving away this vanilla gut knife when we hit 10,000 subscribers. Go check out the community post for instructions to enter. Welcome back everyone, I'm here with Claude, you wanna say what up? What's up guys, thanks for having me back. Yes sir, of course, I'm excited. Round 2. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. First up, I'm pretty sure this is the mainframe. I went through and took a look uh, beforehand just to make sure we weren't missing some. But I think this one's the mainframe. Um, do you have any yeah. opinions on this one? Uh, it's super basic. Uh, not a whole lot going on with it. it. Just looks like a default M4A4 to me. Yeah, just a quick glance, like looking at all these, I noticed a bunch of them are just like super grayscale, and I, I'm like personally not a big fan of that. I know you can fit it super well into like black and white loadouts or like gray loadouts, but I personally don't love a lot of them. Um, this one's definitely really basic, like you said. I'd probably throw it somewhere like C or D, to be honest. Yeah, I was thinking probably D tier. Not a whole lot, yeah. unless you're throwing a speaker combo on it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's toss it in D. All right. Next up is Daybreak. This one's decent, but also a bit overrated in my opinion. Uh, it's from the Rising Sun collection. Um, what do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's pretty basic as well. It has a tiny bit more color, that like gold looking theme to it. Um, mm -hmm. But once again, it's a super basic one. There's a lot of other ones that have more color and stand out more in game. Um, so personally, I think it's better than the last one we looked at. So I'd probably throw it around C tier. Yeah, I totally agree. I would definitely throw it in C. All right, next one is an OG, the Bullet Rain. What do you think about this yep. one? Uh, I like the colors on it. I don't know how well they go together. Mm -hmm. um, I personally think red does shine in CS2, so I do think it stands out compared to the last two we looked at. However, in my opinion, I'd probably still throw it C tier, but top of C. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I think the colors are super vibrant as well, and I, this like used to be a super love skin before there was a lot of M4 skins in the game, but I just was never a huge fan. Like the artwork isn't great, so there's just a couple red bullets on like a blue background. I would agree with yep. you. I would probably throw it like very top of C, like almost B. Sounds good. All right, next one is another one that's just like not good looking i feel like the only reason that it has value to it is because it's from a nice collection i think it's from the control collection if i'm not mistaken it's called the global yeah, offensive so. yeah but yep. what do you think about it i don't like it to be honest yeah it kind of gives me like a forest dd pat vibe or some pattern vibe like a camo finish um pretty dull looking not a whole lot going on with it yeah um i'd probably throw that around probably a d tier yeah i, I totally agree um yeah, would you throw it below this? I would probably throw it below this. I know there's more going on in this one, but this one's just cleaner in my opinion. I think I'd probably throw it above it, but we can put it below for the sake of this video. All right, well, I don't really feel too strongly about it, so I'll throw it above. All right. Okay, this this is where people will probably start getting mad at us, bro. We got the howl. I don't know your opinions on the howl, but honestly, like... I think it's very overrated. Like, I don't dislike it, don't get me wrong, but it's not as sick as everyone makes it seem. I think the only reason it has such a high value is because of the rarity. Yeah, I think it's super rare. I had one of these in Factory New back in 2017, and I wish I never traded it away. Of course. Um, <laughs> I don't regret that, but yeah. I personally think it's a great skin still. I would still probably throw it S tier. I know you probably don't agree with that, but that's where I would throw it. Interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I would... This is gonna sound crazy, but I would probably throw it at like the top of B or low A, if I'm being real. So I think we're gonna disagree heavily on this one. Um, yeah, I think we're disagreeing. Now, are we doing vetoes again yeah, this yeah, week? Yeah, we should or definitely we do vetoes. Let's do vetoes every week. We should each get one. Um, 
I personally don't want to waste my veto on this yet. We can save our vetoes to the end too. That's what I did last time. So you can totally do that. But I think for now, unless you want to veto it, let's just split the difference and throw it in A. Yeah, I think I'll save my veto to the end and then switch something once we get to the fi finish yeah, line and yeah, yeah. See, see where it is. Sounds perfect. Okay. All right. Next one's a banger in my opinion. I've always loved this. The pinks and the purples pop and the dragon looks so sick. The only thing I don't like about the skin is in stat track, it like covers the dragon artwork, which is really sad. Um, yeah. But I absolutely love it. Like, I would either throw this top of A or low S. I don't know. What, what do you think? I cannot put that above the howl. Yeah. No. Yeah, but what do you think? About uh, it? I personally think, yeah, the colors stand out. Uh, it has some more of that like purplish blue color and then a bunch of red in the middle. Um, I think it's a pretty good looking skin and it's not too expensive. Um, it's definitely like an OG skin. Um, based on what you said though, I don't think I can put it in A. Um, if I do A, it's under the howl. Um, I personally would probably put this around B. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to use our vetoes on these two skins at the end. <laughs> we'll see we'll though. We'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next up is the cybersecurity. This is also another one I hear people raving about just because of the colors, but it's so basic artwork wise, in my opinion. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's as amazing as people make it seem. Yeah, I agree with that. It just looks like a lot of different colored stripes to me. Uh, it doesn't really stand out, doesn't look very good in my opinion. Um, I personally think this is probably another B tier skin, if not high C's. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I would say B. I would say B. I, I don't know if it's as bad as like the Bullet Rain and the Daybreak, but it, it's not great. Um, is, is that fine with you? Low B? Yeah, that, yeah, that works for me. Okay, cool. Okay, I honestly feel the same way about the cybersecurity as I do the Desolate Space. This one is like loved by some people, but I think it's so overrated. To my, to my, In my opinion, it just seems like a PNG of like a skull astronaut just slapped on a blue skin. I think uh, we're disagreeing a lot this week compared to last week. Yeah. Uh, this is a great skin. I love this skin. Oh, this wow. is an A tier skin. This is a bro above that Dragon King for me. Wow. Wow. Really? Okay. Yeah, I have to. It's super cheap. People love it. It stands out a ton in CS2. The colors pop. It looks great. Yeah. Well, you, you would throw this here, you're saying, or here? I'd probably throw it A tier. Okay, interesting. I would probably throw it like the bottom of B, honestly, below with the cybersecurity. So, should we split it like here? Yeah, if that works for you. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Um, next up is the poly mag. This is ex extremely basic. I, I don't like the skin at all. I feel like they tried. To First, they failed with the Desert Strike, as you can see here, in my opinion, at least. We'll get there eventually. Yep. But then they tried to recreate it with this. That's how I view yep. it, at least, and it's just a worse version. Yeah, I think both of them look pretty similar. Uh, this one just is a bit different of a brown-looking finish to it, um, yeah. but super cheap, basic-looking skin. I'd probably throw this top of D, or somewhere in D tier. Yeah, I would... I, I think I would rather use... The mainframe than this, but not the global that offensive. Works. That works for me. We can put it bottom of D. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, all right. This one's also super basics, just red and blacks, but it, it is a little bit clean, in my opinion. The evil Damio, I believe it's called. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, decent looking skin. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not a hater either. Yeah, I, I'm not a hater on it. Um, I think it's an all right looking skin. Doesn't stand out compared to the good looking uh, M4s here. Um, there's definitely a list of some very good looking ones, and I don't think it's one of them. So I'd probably throw this in C tier. Yeah, I, I think... I, I like the colors on the bullet rain more, but this is just more clean in my opinion. So I might throw it above the bullet rain. What do you think? Yeah, that works for me. Probably the same. Okay. All right. Here's another one that had a little bit of controversy behind it. The artwork actually changed on this, the Griffin. I don't know if you knew that. Um, the original one not. was copyright, but in my opinion, the new, the new version is actually better looking. I like the Griffin on the second one more. So I, I kind of do really like this skin. Um, I don't know, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I would probably rather pick this up than a Desolate Space. Really? Yeah. I was thinking that it would go in B tier as well. I don't think it would go top of B tier. Um, I think it is pretty basic. However, yeah, the artwork does look good, um, but it's too simple for me. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Okay, so sorry, where'd you say you would put it? Low B? 
I'd probably put it one above where it is right now. So right, yeah, in right B, here. just yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Next up is the Hellfire. This one's a banger, bro, from the Hydra collection. I actually really, really like this skin. I, I don't have any complaints about it. It's super sick. There's just enough going on. It has that vibrant red. What do you think? Uh, I agree. I pulled this factory new in my uh, AI series video. Mm -hmm. This is a great looking skin. I love this skin. I sold the factory new one. I picked up one in, I think, Field Tester or Minware. Um, I would definitely put this probably ARS here. Yeah, literally like a week or two after your AI video, I hit this in a trade up stat track factory now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's such a nice skin. Uh, and it's honestly not that expensive. Like, I'm pretty sure Stat Track Factory New is just under 200 bucks. Don't get me wrong, that's not cheap, but like for this skin, like, not bad. Yeah, it's, it's a great steal. So you said where? I'd probably put it, uh, I would put it under the Howl, but I think the Howl should be S tier as well. So I'd probably throw these both in S tier. Um, but if we're, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably get around the Howl. Yeah, I feel like. I do think this is a really good skin, but I also think that S tier should be sacred. I definitely don't think the Halo deserves to be an S, as we already talked about, but I, I, I would be okay throwing this in S if you want to do that. All right, let's do that. Let's put it up there. Okay. All right. Next up, In Living Color. This is like the first M4 I picked up when I came back. I love it. There's just enough going on. There's so many bright colors. I think it's a great skin. I disagree. Really? You hate I, it? Yeah, I okay. don't like it. There's just too much going on in my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Just so many different colors happening. I don't really know what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at a ink splattered photo with just every color possible. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. I, I definitely respect the opinion, but I think that's what the appeal is of it for me. Yeah, mm, I, I just think too much is going on. It's too distracting in game and I don't like it. Yeah, where where would you put it? I'd probably, I'd probably throw it still B tier, probably one above the Griffin. One above the griffin. Okay, I'm I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm definitely cool with that. Um, all right, neo noir. Um, this is bro. I don't know what your opinion is on neo noirs, but th at this point, I think it's super overdone and it's very mid. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it on the M4. Yeah. Um, I don't love it on any gun, but we'll, we'll talk about that eventually. Uh, yeah, I would say this is probably also another B. Yeah, I agree. Probably low Bs. Yeah, low Bs. I would. I would probably put it here. Yeah, it works for me. Cool. Okay. This one might be controversial too. The Tooth Fairy. I know a lot of people like this, but I hate it. I don't know why. I hate this graphic of like the demon woman thing, the Tooth Fairy creature. I don't know. It's just like, it's not, it doesn't actually scare me, but it's just like not appealing. I don't want to be looking at that when I'm playing. See, I, I'm the opposite. I think this was the first one I picked up when I came back to CS. I think it's a great looking skin. Um, it has some pretty good artwork going on with it. It's pretty similar, in my opinion, to how the Hellfire looks, not rating wise on this S tier list, but I think it matches like, you know, that scary Aesthetic. type theme. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I personally think it's a pretty good looking skin and it's super cheap. I'd probably throw it B tier, I'd put it under the desolate space. Um, I yeah, don't know if you under the desolate space. Interesting. I would probably put this like here or here. Um, all right, so, so we'll probably split it, maybe split the middle. Here. Yeah, probably around the group. Yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. Word. All right. all right, next up. Come on, everyone knows this is a banger. Please tell me you feel the same. Yeah, I know a lot of people like this skin. I think it has some great color, stands out, pops in CS2. It's definitely one of the better M4A4s. Um, I'd probably throw that A tier. Really? Okay. I would probably throw this straight in S because I don't know. I like the anime mommy on there is funny to me. I'm not actually like a weeb or anything, but I just think it's funny. Like there's hella memes behind it and I love the colors. It's got like the pinks and the light blues and the purple hair. I don't know. I really, really like the skin. I would probably throw it S. I think it looks better than the Hellfire, to be honest. Yeah, I think it stands out a lot. I personally would pick up the Hellfire instead. Um, I can settle with S tier um, okay, if you want. Okay, just below it, though. Um, yeah, that's okay. probably where I'd put it then. Okay. All right. M4A4, Osimov. This is another one. I know we talked about the Osimov last time on the AK. I I'm sort of an op Osimov purist. I think it should be strictly for the op. But that being said, I think this is my second favorite Osimov skin. I it's good. Yeah. I, I honestly, like, I would definitely throw it above the Desolate Space. Uh, it probably below the Howl for me, though. What do you think? Yeah, I think I agree with that. It's definitely, I think it deserves to stay on the AWP only. Um, 
I think it looks alright on the M4A4. I'd probably put it above the desolate space as well. Probably throw it low A tier, high B tier. Cool. Also, have you seen that classic video of Anomaly back in the day when he hit it in a trade up? He's just screaming like, Stat Trek Osimov! Os! Stat Trek Osimov! Stat Trek Osimov! Stat Trek Osimov! Field tested! Field fucking tested! Stat Trek Osimov! Alright, here's one that I literally don't think I've ever seen in game, like during a match the Poseidon. Uh, I think yeah, it looks it super good, but like, I don't know. What do you think? I love the skin. It's yeah. a great looking skin. Has um, color that shines. It looks totally different than every other M4A4 and pretty much any other skin in the game. Um, I love it. Yeah, dude, I, I, I think this looks far better than the Howl. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think it's pretty in line with the Howl in my opinion. I'd probably throw it S tier. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely cool with S. You want to go where in S? I mean, oh, I don't know. It's tough. I think it looks better than the Hellfire, but I don't know. I personally would probably put it one under the Hellfire. Um, okay. Pretty similar, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, Desert Strike up next. Ah, uh, dude, it's just so basic. Like, I don't really even have much to say about it. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's super basic. Um, is this a red skin in the game? Yeah, it's, it's a red. Color, right? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't think it deserves that at all. It's um, literally I factory new stat purple. track. It's like $20. Yeah, I don't think it's a good looking skin. I'd probably throw the C tier. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we're agreeing on that. I, I, I think I would throw it low. I might pick up all of these over it. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Cool. X-ray. I know we had a little debate over the AK X-ray. Um, I, I, I'm not yeah. a fan of this X-ray either, to be honest. Yeah, either am I. I don't uh, like this one. Okay. All right, cool. Um, where I would probably throw this maybe a little higher in C. Yeah, I was going to say I'd probably pick this up over the Desolate Space. Really? Um, that's probably where I would put it. Wow. Or, sorry, not Desolate Space. Sorry, Desert Strike. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, C wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, next up is the Magnesium, right? Uh, yeah, I believe that's what that one is. Yeah, this is relatively new skin. This is another one like the mainframe where it's sort of grayscale. But this one is a little cleaner in my opinion. It just has like that flame picture over the gray. Um, it's just black and gray. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like it. I don't love it. I would probably put it also like high C. Yeah, I think I'd agree somewhere in the C tier. Super basic. Um, matches nice with, you know, a black or silver type themed inventory. Totally. Um, great for sticker combos. Better than the other black one we looked at at the start. So I'd probably throw it, you know, mid C, maybe just above the X-ray. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely cool with that. All right, Coalition. Dude, this one's clean. I honestly didn't even know much about the skin until recently, but I think it looks great. I started seeing it in game a lot more. I think it's perfect. Also, uh, the fact that you can fit like that sticker perfectly on that logo is super dope. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. I don't know. I like the gold and black. It kind of reminds me of the Golden Coil A1S, which I really like. Obviously, that one's better probably, but I don't know. I would throw this in A, I think. I don't think I could throw it that high. Okay. It, I don't know. In my opinion, it's probably too basic for me to put it in A tier. I think it's definitely a decent looking skin. I'd probably put it like mid B's, maybe one above the Griffin or one below the Griffin, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. One above or one below. I think since I would throw it in A, let's maybe just put it like here. Sounds good. Okay. All right. This This one I love. Like, I think, I don't know. I think this is better than everything we have in the S tier right now. I'm not going to lie. Maybe not the Poseidon, but I really love the Emperor. I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I think it looks great as well. I pulled this in one of my trade-ups, uh, my Nothing to a Knife series. It's a great looking skin. Um, tons of color, tons of, you know, artwork that stands out. I definitely think it's an S tier skin. I'd probably agree under the Poseidon or around the Poseidon, but in my opinion, under the Poseidon. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. I agree, totally. Alright, I think this one is called the Battle Star, if I'm not mistaken. It's so forgettable yep. though. I don't know. It's just yep. like another and one it's... where there's like a little bit of like copperish gold going on and like some things etched in, but it's just not that great. What what do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's like a dulled out grey, kind of looks greenish to me. Yeah. You know, like a, a wood themed green. Mm -hmm. Uh super basic looking skin. I personally would not put this anything above a C tier, probably 
even if it makes a C tier. I'd probably put it bottom of C. Yeah, I agree. This is another covert, which is crazy to me. It's funny because we have we already have two coverts in the C, but I also agree this would be like low C. So yeah, good, good for me. All right, I think this is the newest skin on the list of the M484 Eye of Horus. I think this skin is beautiful. At first, it, it took a little growing on me, but as soon as I looked at it for more than a few minutes, I was like, wow, like this skin's really a banger. Uh, I think it looks really good overall. There's perfect amount of vibrant colors going on, and I like the artwork. What do you think? I 100% agree on that. It's a great looking skin. Comes in souvenir as well. Um, I think it's a great M4A4, one of the newest ones for sure, and it, and I think it passes most of the ones on this list. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think it. Yeah, it's probably top of S for me as of now. Top of S? Yeah, I'd probably throw it. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Probably top of S works for me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um. What is this one? The Royal Paladin. Yeah. This is another covert, if I'm not mistaken, and I feel very similarly about this one as I do the Battle Star. But that being said, I think this one's a little bit better. Yep, I agree. Okay. Um, I would personally yep. probably pick this up over like the Magnesium though too. Maybe even higher, like right here. Yeah, I think that's exactly where I'd put it, right there. Perfect. All right. Well, that one was easy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Next up is the Buzzkill. This one looks very similar to the Coalition, in my opinion, but I, I do like the fact that there's a little more yellow, but I don't like the artwork as much. So I would say they are very close, uh, in my opinion, but I would probably throw this one a little bit lower than the Coalition. Yeah, I think it's a B-tier skin. I don't think it is that, you know good looking to me to pick up i would probably never pick this up it kind of gives me that like fuel injector type vibe mm -hmm. um not a fan of that skin really so i'd probably put it in b near the bottom maybe one under the tooth fairy in my opinion one under the tooth fairy okay i would probably throw it like right above it so we're, we're right about the same all right uh, next up is the spider lily this one is decent i feel like it looks better in cs2 than it did in csgo but that being said, it's not like super amazing. Like it doesn't stand out too much, but it, it, it is decent. It has blue, it has red, and a decent picture of that uh, red lily in the middle. What, what would you say? I think it's a pretty decent looking skin. It's definitely a budget skin. Uh, it's definitely not one of the worst M4A4s you could pick up. Um, it is super basic, but it does have a bit of color that does stand out. Um, I still would probably throw it at C tier. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I was going to say, like, the literal last spot in B, but... Yeah, uh, I was going to say probably third in C. Really? Okay, I think I like this a little more than the Bullet Rain and the Evil Damio, to be honest. So I'd probably throw it here. We can put it there. Maybe we can split it, if you want. We can, we can put it top of C, if you want. Okay, all right, cool with me. All right, next up, the Red DD Pat. Um, I mean, what can you really say about DD Pats? Like, they're not amazing, but... That being said, I do like the colorful ones more than something like the Urban DD Pat, which is next up. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not that great. I would probably throw it somewhere and see, like, maybe here. I don't know. Yeah, I think probably around the same for me. It doesn't really stand out much. Actually, I'd probably put it under the X-Ray. I don't think I'd pick that up instead of the X-Ray. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Oh, wait. Under the X-Ray. Not bad. Perfect. Yeah, probably right there. All right, yeah, sounds good to me. Next up, Urban DD Path. That, but uglier. <laughs> uh, this yeah. probably goes D or F, to be honest. I don't know if it's quite F, but it's definitely definitely D. Yeah, I think it's bottom of D tier for me. I yeah. don't think it's an F tier skin, but definitely does not have much going on at all. Yeah, yeah. All right, next up is the Desert Something. I always forget the name of this. Desert Storm. Desert Storm. Cool. Uh, this one's just ugly. <laughs> I feel like this is yeah. worse than the DD Pat. Uh, I would probably throw it in F. Yeah, I agree. It's the DD Pat, the muddy version of it. Um, yeah, exactly. I don't think it looks good at all. It's the poo DD Pat. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Modern Hunter, right? The only reason I know this skin is because they're super rare in Factory New, and Anomaly has talked about them a few times. Um, there's a bunch of these skins, honestly. Uh, I think this one's okay. It doesn't look good. I would probably throw it, like, B. 
like low D. Yeah, honestly, for the price, if I saw that in game, I would not think it's worth how much it is. Um, yeah. doesn't, doesn't look very good to me. I'd probably throw it in D, maybe top of D. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool with that for sure. Okay, this one is called the Converter, and the only reason I've ever seen it is because people make these budget Howl crafts with it, with like the baby Howl sticker and like the Battle Scarred stickers. And it actually really looks like a Howl. One time I saw it in game, I had seen a video of someone making one of these crafts, and I saw it in game once randomly, and I actually thought he had a Howl for like five seconds. I was like, yo, you have a Howl? And then he just like threw it to me, and I was like, no way. Uh, so it, it fooled me, but that being said, the skin standalone is not good. Yeah, especially if you get it in like a battle scarred, well worn, or field tested float, it looks super scratched up. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a great looking skin. Um, it does have a bit of red that does stand out, but there are a ton of red M4A4s, probably the most common color in the M4A4 category. Yeah. Um, so compared to the other ones, I probably would not put it very high. I'd probably throw it C tier around that DD pat. Yeah, the red I think it looks worse than the red DD pat, to be honest, but I agree. Is that cool? Yep, that works for me. Okay, I think this one's called the Jungle Tiger, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Probably another yep, one I would just straight throw an F. Yeah, know. it doesn't look very good to me. I'd probably throw it either bottom of D or in F tier. Nothing yeah. going on with it. All right. Well, since we only have one in the F tier, you want to just throw it top of F? Yep, that works for me. Cool. Um, all right. The tornado. I feel like it was just a very lazy job at making a skin. It's literally just like a sandy blue and a sandy brown color. Uh, just thrown onto an m4 i really don't like it but that being said it is like clean it's not like someone really tried to like do something and made it look ugly sort of like the global offensive so i would probably throw yep. it like top of d yeah i think i'd probably be around the same it doesn't really stand out it looks pretty basic to me so probably d or c tier okay yeah cool let's just do top of d then um all right dark blossom this one's honestly decent. The only complaint I have about it is the fact that it's super, super dark, so you don't really get to see the artwork unless you're, like, really looking for it. Um, but that being said, it's, like, dark purpley, uh, dark bluey, and, like, a bit of gray. I, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's amazing, but I would probably throw it somewhere in C, maybe low C. Yeah, I'm thinking the opposite. I'd throw that in F tier right away. It's super really? basic. I, I don't like it. Okay. All right, that's fair. Um, maybe we just split the difference, go like middle of D. Yep, sounds good to me. Cool. All right, Radiation Hazard. This one's super OG. Um, I oh. don't think it's like super, super sick without the lore behind it and like all the souvenir crafts and stuff. But just knowing about that, I would probably throw it in B, I think. Yeah, I think probably get hate on this one because people seem to like it. It's super expensive, but not something i would pick up i'd probably put that even top of c tier okay no I'm, I'm okay with that i'm down to throw a top of c tier that's cool with me um cool all right this one is the zerka i believe uh yep. dude this is this is one i would just throw an f like i don't even know what that star is i think it looks terrible and the colors are just very bland yeah i think that's super basic i think that's part of the bravo case yeah. I would not want to hit that in the Bravo case. That is super basic. <laughs> that is an F tier for me. You just end your life. <laughs> that's a, yeah. That's a bad skin right there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe top of F. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, uh, what is this called? Faded zebra. Yeah, faded zebra. Yeah, this, bro. It's just ugly. Like, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, that is a. Uh, I think that's 2013 skin right there. That is a super old skin. Uh, probably one of the first looking skins, and it's probably one of the worst. Yeah, definitely, bro. All right, well, I feel like we agreed on most things today, but you know what time it is. I think it's veto time. Yep, I think I used my veto last week, so I'm going to tell you to go first this time. Okay, okay. Now, before we get into the veto, can I take away your veto if I'm after you? Um, you know what? Or are we just uh, I staying think, away from yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's say yes, but but I would rather you do the other thing. I, if you, like, feel super, super strongly, like, okay, that's a terrible choice, definitely by all means do it. But if you, like, have a skin, you're like, I wish I should move that, you should definitely just move it. All right. All right. I would probably do this. All right. And I, for my veto, 
I would take the Howl, and I would put that under the Poseidon. Okay. All right. You know what? I, I like this list a lot. I think this came out really good. Yeah. Looking at it here, I don't think I would change anything else. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, it's a good looking list. Sick. All right. Well, thanks for being here for another. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like and definitely leave a comment with what skin or what weapon you want to see us do next. Yep. It was a great video. Thanks for having me once again, and I look forward to some future videos. Yes, sir. All right. Have a good one, bro. You too. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video too. Wittily out.